An Ames man is starting the new year with a new outlook on life. WHO 13's Kaylin Thompson shows us why. There's really nothing that can express what it's like to know you probably should have died twice and somehow you didn't. Since he was a baby, Stephen Graham has defied the odds. He was born with his heart in backwards, a rare defect that doctors were able to correct. Catch it and you live or they miss it and you don't. But by age 30, Stephen's heart was starting to fail. It was kind of like a realization like, oh, you are dying. <laughs> like, you, you do need to figure this out. In December of 2020, Stephen went to Mayo Clinic where doctors went straight to work on saving his life. Initially, they thought I would need a heart and lung transplant. But thankfully, all the meds, the balloon pump was able to relieve all that pressure. Balloon pumps are typically placed through a patient's leg, keeping them bedridden. But Mayo discovered a new way of placing it through the arm. It meant Stephen could stay active and his lungs could regenerate. So I was riding 10 miles a day on a stationary bike, like trying to stay as healthy as I could. Healthy enough that after just two months, he ended up getting that new heart and with it, a new outlook on life. We are all so much more closely connected than we could ever imagine. So anything we can do to just love and honor each other well is, is really what living is all about. Kaylin Thompson, WHO 13 News. Wow. We should all be more like Steven. He's going back to work in person this month, and his New Year's resolution is to learn how to rock climb. He tells us what he's really most thankful for are the things that he wasn't able to do before his transplant, like putting his daughter to bed. Oh, gosh. So happy mm. for him.